What about a thousand for everything? A grand. Yep. Is that cash? Cash. Am I gonna stay away from yard sales? Hell no. Nah. Man, you do have a lot. Were you a collector or a vendor? Uh, we were a vendor, and we're trying to get out. Gotcha. Those are all the common. Yep. All of these boxes are all the other ones. Okay, cool. And they're just they're everywhere. So I'm a vendor too, man. That's that's what I do. Just right. being transparent, you know, I sell on eBay. So, you know, I got to factor in for me, like, you know, the, the expense of shipping, the time it's going to take to sell them, all that kind of stuff, and the, you know, the time to put into it. So, uh, my, I'll just come out right out of the gate. Would you do like 650 for everything? Uh, there's 280 of them. 280. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can go that low. Okay. What are you looking at then? Let's try to come up with something. Um, I mean, if you're a vendor, could you do four piece? Uh, let's see what that break. And it's 280 for everything. I didn't even count those. That's just these bad boys. Okay, what like what would you want for everything? Like how many are I in? Have no, I ain't even been in those. Those boxes have been shut for months. Okay. So I don't even know what's in them. I just I've had a ton of hits on Funko, so I was like, well, let me pull them back out and see what's right. And I had like I ain't even opened the boxes. I know this whole box is nothing but Dion Sanders. Okay, yeah. And I think it's maybe ten of. Taylor left in there. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, I mean, do you want to just throw out a price for me then for everything? Because like you said, there's 280 here, and then you don't even know what's in there. No, I haven't made it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, so I would just be essentially blind buying what's in there, right? So. Well, I mean, we can pull them out. It yeah. Don't it, bother me. No okay, no. yeah. Um, I'm, well, you don't have to. I'm just trying to think. Like, just just give me a price that you're comfortable with, and we can kind of work something out. <laughs> and of course i put it on silent because it kept going on. oh yeah so now i don't know where i put it and it's on silent <laughs> yeah um i mean how i mean i would be i could i'm trying to think you're gonna that, I mean. all right would you do like that, i mean i could just, i know one dumbbell's open one three minutes gotcha but i mean like there's i think some there might be one or two that are worth 30 bucks but none of them because uh, we did kids shows That's right what we did. right right so you know taking a anything over ten dollars a parent won't pay for it right yep and a lot of times collectors don't come to craft shows correct yeah <laughs> yeah i get that for sure um i have no idea i stuck it in it's not in the house hmm. it's in the house all right it's what... on silent and it's all all right so for everything would you think 800 Oh, those are 100 in those boxes? Oh, at least. Those things are trained. Okay, so... Let's see. 280. So, 380 is what we're looking at. Like, so you're saying around 380 Funkos, essentially. Yeah, I mean, if not more, I know... Dude, this one's got the bigger ones in it. This one doesn't really... All right, so... the marshmallow guy. Right. So, if I did... Okay, what about 1,000 for everything? That would probably be like my... That's probably where I'd come in top dollar for me that would that, that would come out to be um it would be right around two dollars and 85 cents a unit okay i got it <laughs> found it <laughs> a grand yep is that cash cash yeah <laughs> i do the, the, <laughs> all right so look full transparency man so you see the camera right so what i do is i, I oh, well you got one but i mean there's one of those yeah yeah no i sell full time right i sell full time and i have a youtube channel where i talk about reselling full time okay, so okay. yeah it's uh yeah i'm like i'm serious about it man like business license credential and all that fun stuff okay. you know yeah um yeah i a thousand cash man right now all in 20s yeah i mean you want the, you want the cases to the shelves uh I, yeah. hurt my feelings. Barnes and Noble gave them to me. I'll take them. Yeah, if I can get them in my car, <laughs> I'll probably have to break them down. So yeah, this one's the more. Wider. All right, let me let me count this out for you. So so I'm, so we're looking at like 380 Funkos, right? Yeah. So yeah, right. probably a hair bit more, maybe. That's like, fine. There's a ton of Deion Sanders. All right, I'm gonna count this out real fast. I'm gonna let you count it out. All right. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. Ninety is it? 
man. You like me when I get to the bank? Yeah, dude, it's like... I have to give it to her so she can put it in that little machine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so early in the morning, you know? All right, let me pull out more 20s and count this out because I knew I did it. I got to a point where I was like, I didn't grab enough out of here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. That's five. If you want to go ahead and count that, I'll count up another 500. Alright. Yeah, Alright, here's another five. You want to count that behind me? I was hoping you'd work with me, man, because I, I got a lot of cash out this morning. And I couldn't shut my wallet. It wasn't fitting in my back pocket. I was like, I, was like, I wanted to know, though. I'm serious. Like, I'm not like, uh, you know, I wanted to make it fair for everybody. But, you know, oh, yeah. it just, it, you know, makes sense to tell you my intentions with them. So that way. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I like people being honest. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, you're not going to believe the way that I pack these. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I, that's why I was hoping you had something bigger. I actually. I packed these. I'm like, yeah. This is the craziest setup ever. So they go in there, right? Oh my goodness. And then I have saran wrap in the truck. <laughs> and I saran wrap each one, and you can pick it up by hand. Oh, nice. So, that's why you would take them in and out. Yeah, I'm actually. That's um, I was doing the shows, so I was like. I'm yeah, I'm that. actually in the process. I'm van shopping. It's uh, it's about that time that's I gotta. Too. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta trade in the, the Civic and get myself one of those nice mini minivans with the automatic fold down seats, you know? But we don't have kids, so I'm just gonna look like a creeper in a van, but it's all right. <laughs> hey, well, she's pregnant with our first, and we've been looking at many events. Those things are badass. Right. You know, you see one on road, it's like, never. Then we went shopping for one, I was like, oh, yeah, this is. Cool. Yeah. So, so you guys, I'm just curious, so y'all were vendors, right? So y'all went to kid shows and stuff? Yeah, believe it or not, we did, uh, we were licensed. We've gotten out of it. Because we also, I didn't bring it. I used to do Melissa and Doug. Right, right. That, that fizzled out fast. Yeah. It yeah. was hot though for a bit. Yeah, and we still do Wild Republic stuffed animals. Mm -hmm. Those are awesome hits. Yep. But we do fairs, Strawberry Festival. I missed the Tomato Festival. Right. But, that, you know, Daffodil Festival, all those, because they only charge you like 70 bucks to sit up for a That's two not day bad, event. Yeah. yeah. And like Daffodil, we did uh, two days, $1,800. And all I had was Funkos and stuffed animals. Nice. So, I mean, you know, we were... Yeah. But there's just, I'm guessing, a lot of work to go in and out. and. It's, it's really not bad, but with her being pregnant, I've uh, lost my, my helper. So yeah. now it's just It's a one-man show. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, it's like, well, next year, I can't do this. I got a kid. Yep. It's like, you know, so I was like, maybe we'll take off a year or two when the kid's two. Yeah. You know, you can occupy them and sit out there for a yeah, Well, if you come across any, like, I don't know if you had, like, a storage unit or something, you kept stuff in... Um, I can give you my phone number because if you have other inventory, uh, we could. Okay, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, because I had it down there. I've got some in our mama's house. I was. This right. is just what I had taken to show. Right. But see, I don't have any more shows until September, and I'm only paid for two. Right. So I'll probably just. Take yeah. So yeah, house. but if you're looking to unload anything else, man, I'll uh, I would happily give you my number and okay. uh, yeah, yeah, just I give mean, me a call. We're always running across them. Yeah. Do you buy a loose one? Uh, yeah, I will buy them loose. Okay, I'll tell you, there's a whole damn bag in there. Okay. Uh, what do you uh, What do you want for those? I typically don't for loose ones because I usually get around like four to eight, depending on them. I usually go about a dollar a unit. Okay. Yeah. I, I think we had them on Facebook for two. And we were selling them for a dollar fifty. I think. Yeah. People were offering, but then they were paying shipping too. So. Right. Right. But yeah, I mean, yeah, just to move some of them. Yeah, I'll take those too, man. I don't know how many you got, but yeah, I'm right. fine with that. Yeah, well, I'll say you want to try to find a way to pack these so people show up. <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of Ikea bags. I guess I'll load... I'll, let me go to my car and I'll get some Ikea bags. Uh, is it okay if I pull up right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Her mom will be here in a little bit. To, she said I'm too, but we can move her burgundy car. Okay, and, and real fast also, I saw two Garfield plush. What did you want on those guys? Oh, we just do 50 cents each on stuff. All right, cool. I'm going to grab those too. There you go, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to go grab the car. <laughs> it's weird. I uh, go from a thousand to a dollar, right? Yeah, I appreciate you working with me, man. I just figure, I mean, you know how people are at garage sales, man. You got people coming in here trying to get at these things for like a buck a piece. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And then this. You care about putting some on the top of the Oh, yeah. Panel. You can put it away however you want to do it, man. It's fine with me. Hey. My neighbor. They put the yard.
yard sale sign. Don't have any yard sale down there. Oh, I'm, are they? <laughs> well, look, I mean, I, dude, I yard sale every weekend um, during the entire season, and uh, it's amazing the stuff that you'll uh, come across. And, and, but, like, typically, I don't ever come across, like, people doing, like, you know. Yeah, that's why I love it though when I can find vendors that are trying to get out because then I can like you know make deals with them and oh, it's yeah. just it's beneficial for everybody. I did a Lego buyout once at Walmart and I was able to fit three Sterilite boxes in this car, nothing but Lego, so we'll see. I live in Ashbrook. Yeah. And my, uh, if you want to see the YouTube, if you're ever, you know, I don't know if you're watching the YouTube or not, but the channel is just RVA Flips. Okay. So. Yeah, because I was going to say you were close. Whatever you can fit, we can fit in these. I can roll in. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah I'm, it's like 10 minutes. That's fine. Yeah, I would say. And that too, that I'm... So I'll load this stuff up and then what I'll do is I'll go empty out. You can, uh, if you want to, like, saran wrap these up, and I'll come back and... Okay. Yeah, that, that would work. You think they'll fit saran wrap, or you want to bring more bags? I know one will probably fit, but the other one... Yeah, probably... I don't like to lay on top of each other. We tried that on a trip. Yeah, yeah, because my back... Like, the back seat comes down, but I still don't think it'd probably be enough. Right. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I'll just bring... I have tons of these IKEA bags, man. I'm excited, man, but also, I'm like, I'm a little... I'm like, man, now I got a lot of work. <laughs> Oh yeah, brother. List up we, all these we things. Tried doing the eBay thing, but it's just... Dude, it's a lot of work. And then also what you run into, and that's one of the benefits I think of having a YouTube channel, is you run into a lot of people that want to scam you, but I record myself shipping everything. You know what I mean? So uh, if someone's like, oh, you didn't send me the right thing, I'm like, oh, I have video that I did. So okay. yeah, because that happens a lot, especially like in the Funko community on on eBay, man. A lot of people will try to scam you and say you sent them the wrong thing or you know. That, that's kind of one of my fears. Because uh, I mean, like, you know, we've, I've done some of them. I did some with Deion Sanders and stuff. And they sold, but it's a slow market. Yep. And then your fees. Are slow, yeah, right? the, fee, the like, fees get you. Yeah, and then we try Macari. That's slow, too, I feel like. Yes. And I don't like the fact of waiting. You know, with, waiting for the funds. Yeah, yeah it's like you it's ship like, it, you have to get rated, and then it's like, a, and then you have to wait again. Yeah, and like one guy, I shipped it, the post office track, but somehow tracking got messed up. So now he says he didn't get it, and Macari made me give him his money yesterday. What? Yeah, it's been, and it has been 10 days, but it's just gone. And the post office says, it could show up within a month or two, he'll probably get it. I said, well then, <laughs> I want to say, do you think the owner system works? you think he's going to pay me? <laughs> Oh, Pee Wee Herman, oh my gosh. <laughs> that brings back memories. Oh, no, man, you're fine. All right, I can put another bag down in here. Um, did you got did you put something in the trunk yet? No. Uh, let me see if I popped it. I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, it's popped. Okay, there's another box down there. If you want to use that box. Oh, cool. Thank you.
No, I sell everything, man. I, I literally, I, I just look for opportunity. I mean, I sell everything from, whew, like if you were to look at my eBay story now, everything from Funkos to loose toys to clothing to electronics. Dude, I do it all. I do it all. But I love, I love Funkos just because they're like pretty easy to list. It's like snap, 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 post it up. Right. And they're easy to store because you can stack them so easy. Clear it out. Definitely made room in the shed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, now I got to make room in my storage unit, which is like, and I just did think Geek just went out of business. So I did a big uh, buy. I bought like 200 Freddy Krueger action figures for Q4. And I have nowhere to put them. I bought like 40 waffle makers, like crazy stuff. And is this what you do full time? Yeah, full okay. time, man. Full time. This and YouTube. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, you make a little bit on YouTube, but not a whole lot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's not like, it's not like quit your job money, obviously, but yeah. All right, let's see what else I think. I think I can fit one more bag. I got them in my book bag. And then I can even probably shove some loose ones in the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm, however you want to do it. I mean, yeah. Once you leave, I'm going to go and I'm going to get the dog's pills and I'll walk through the house. Oh yeah, and then uh, the loose ones too. Remember, I'm gonna buy those yeah, from you. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you. We'll get all those out by the time you come back. All right, cool. Sounds good. I don't know if you want to have a system, these things stack in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, no. but we've learned from shows how to compact. <laughs> yep, yep. We don't have those shows on like you bringing in trucks and trailers. They don't have enough room. What? Really? Yeah, so we have to cram it all in the pickup truck. Oh man, I'm, that's surprising to me that they don't. Huh? Yeah, I can promise you right now, my viewers seeing me doing this in the video, they're gonna be screaming at me saying, you're not taking care of the boxes. I promise you that, but they're fine. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, I, and plus like, I don't collect these things, but it's been selling them. I like at least the temporary ownership of them because they're, they're, they're kind of cool looking, you know? <sighs> Yeah. Dude, yeah. No, I mean very rarely. Occasionally you can do a little online arbitrage, but it ain't often. And it's like, you know, I always feel like nothing happens around here. It's like every time I find clothes out from I have to travel. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. You know, I've been hoping it just sounds bad. But you know, I would love for like a comic book shop to shut down. And just buy out all their inventory. I'm gonna leave this box here in case we want to use it when I get back. Okay. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, give me. It's gonna take me about 20 minutes round trip, and then about 10 to unload. So. Oh, oh that's fine. I mean, her mom. Her mom ain't even made it here. Okay, cool. Um, and then when I come back, I'll probably look to see what else you have. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these Garfield plushes. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, the whichever is fine. Uh, I, I think we could probably maybe fit more in the bags because okay. then we can stack the bags on each other. Okay, I'll go ahead and just roll it in. I can leave you some if you if you're looking to load some while I'm gone. I mean, you'll have to obviously. Like I can do it myself, but I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. I'll just leave you. I got to them here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give them the pills and I'll come back here. All right, cool. Thanks, man. All right, here. <laughs> all right thanks i'll be right back all right so there is the first car load plus the trunk and now i gotta go home and then unload and come all right so i'm unloading the first haul of this buy and gabby is gonna kill me when she wakes up luckily she's still asleep but essentially what i'm doing right now is just stacking them in my living room and so she's gonna come downstairs, but it's all good. 
when I tell her the deal, she'll understand. She, she can respect the hustle. I just gotta put them somewhere that's not gonna interfere with whatever she's trying to get into today. All right, I got it all unloaded. Let me show you all the aftermath. I gotta go find more Ikea bags. She's going to legit kill me. All right, y'all can't really see. There we go. So that's the first run. And we still have everything that was in those crates. You only have two bags. Oh, okay. I got I got brought more in. Oh, but, I got boxes. oh perfect, perfect. Oh, oh man, you guys got some cute dogs. You hunt? No. Oh, okay. No, they just ended up. <laughs> I'm not a hunter either, but I know a lot of people here are. Oh yeah. All right, I'll come back. I'm gonna go load these up and come back. Hot one today, man. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Quick. Yeah. It's already starting to move. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Got the display rack if you want. Oh yeah. Only other thing we found 66 more box, but they're all duplicates of the stuff you've already bought. Okay. Uh, do you want to include those then, or do you want to? Yeah, I mean, I was just gonna sell them more. You know, what I'm saying about the same cost. Yeah. Uh, how many? You got 66 of them? Yeah. So. And then there's like 30 loose ones. Okay. Would you for? Uh... The 30 loose ones, would you do 120 on them? For the 30 loose and the, the ones that are there? I know it's a little oh, bit less. I didn't see that bottom right. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's what I... I didn't see that. Yeah, those are yours. I didn't see that. Okay, cool, cool. Um, So for the loose ones, would you... Let me see. I, I don't want to... I think I have enough. <laughs> There's 66 of them. 20, 20 60, 80, 100. Uh, let's see. Six, one, 66 of the duplicates. Mm, would you do 140? I was gonna say 150 kinda. I'll do 150, that's fine. And that's with the loose ones? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, we can't forget these. I didn't even see that. Alright, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Oh, I missed 20. That's literally all my phone cards. <laughs> Alright, so let me count this up again for you. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150. Alright. Cool, and I'll bag those up. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know if this comes apart or not. I guess it does. Hey, it's all good. I, I'll probably just, uh, because honestly, you could probably sell this at your garage sale. Someone would probably want it. Oh, yeah. Well, we've had people ask them. Yep. Because I probably, honestly, I'm probably. Uh, yeah, well, I just the more I thought about it, I was like, I don't really have anywhere to put them. I won't throw them online, it's too hard to shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I, I got more room in this bag, and load up okay. the other ones. This is my first stop of the day, too. I had to go to the bank now. <laughs> you cleaned out my wallet, man. <laughs> uh, Ah, uh, cool, cool. Perfect, thank you. And the tote is what's got 
So if you want to leave me the bag, I can fill up the bag. Okay, cool. And I got more of these too I can bring. I'll go put this uh, and I'll bring back more. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. That was every punk I got in the van. Does it feel good to be rid of them? <laughs> <laughs> all right and i'm gonna keep looking if that's all right i'm gonna back out of your driveway though all right man thanks so much you have a good one this is what it looks like after i've gotten everything positioned uh, i counted them up i inventoried them and me and gabby even filmed the video that you can come back on the channel later it'll be up later today um she me and her filmed a haul video where we went through each and every single one of them if you're interested in that but this is 477 Funko Pops. Uh, bear in mind, I'm not counting stuff like this. Like these uh, these little things here. These are Funko products, but not Pops. So I'm not counting those. And I also have a bag. If you guys know anything about Pops, I have an entire bag here that uh, I was able to work into the deal. Um, this is a lot of Voltit loose pops some of these are going for like 30 to 50 dollars loose and then i have like a bunch of keychains i'm gonna lot together and just a lot of like the mystery minis that i'll lot together but just factoring in the funko pops these things and like the sets and that kind of stuff and this stuff over here um two dollars and 41 cents per unit uh this over here on the table is everything that sells for 25 and up and this is all the kind of like five to you know 16 17 range here apart from i got 30 of these Dion sanders actually i think i may have more than 30 but those Dion sanders sell between 30 they're comping in around 30 to 40 dollars so and i got 30 plus of them so that's a really good pickup uh this is a great haul um and i may have gotten a guy um you know i told i messaged him when i got home tonight and i said hey you know come here you go, i'll look at the camera i said hey you know if you come across anything else you need to get rid of you know my buy price message me he said yeah i might have some more in october so i think i might have a guy not as good as lonnie's admittedly but it's good for me i like listing this stuff and i got a lot of multi-quantity stuff i haven't like put them together yet i'll just figure it out as i go through them but essentially clothing, I did clear off a shelf, <laughs> but yeah, clothing's going on the back burner. Uh, I'm going to be uh, focusing on Funko Pops for the next uh, week or so. So this is the stuff that's getting listed first. That's gonna, I mean, this stuff right here should get me to profit just in this, these items right here. And then all of this, and it, look guys, this is, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deep. And I mean, it's just insanity here, you go, top view. But uh, this will all just be money on top. So I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. And there's some really cool stuff. But come back uh, on the channel if you want to see every little piece shown off on camera. Me and Gabby did a video. Um, it'll be out tonight. Um, you can watch that. Uh, but I just wanted to keep this kind of focused on that negotiation. That was a, that was a lot of fun. Um, and you know, I may have a nice source now that pays to be transparent. I want to thank everybody for coming, hanging out, watching the video. If you're new to the channel, this video kind of brought you here. I'm a full-time reseller. I do this for a living. My videos are essentially what I do day in and day out, shipping, listing, what I'm buying, what I'm selling, that kind of thing. I kind of try to show everything. Uh, but with that said, thank you so much for watching. If you get a chance, make sure you're subscribed. Links are down below if you want to help support the channel. But other than that, just come back tomorrow for more videos. Facebook group. Make sure you're in there. It's a lot of fun. You guys take care. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.